That's better. That's better. Huffed Henry. Clouds of smoke and steam poured from his funnel into the cold air, and the fire's light shone brightly. Hurry, 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 panted Henry. They were going well. The light grew better. Signal lights shone green as they passed. Then a yellow signal appeared ahead. His driver prepared to stop, but the home signal was down. All clear, Henry. Away we go. They couldn't know the switches from the main line to a siding were frozen, and the home signal should have been set at danger, but snow had forced it down. A freight train was waiting in the siding to let the flying kipper pass, and the driver and fireman were drinking cocoa in the caboose. The kipper is due, said the conductor. Who cares, said the fireman. This is good cocoa. The driver got up. Come on, fireman, back to our engine. They got out just in time. Now, 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 now. Henry's driver and fireman had jumped clear before the crash. But Henry lay dazed and surprised. Sir Topham Hatt came to see him. The signal was down, sir, said Henry. Cheer up, Henry. It wasn't your fault. Ice and snow caused the accident. I'm sending you to Crewe, a fine place for sick engines. They'll give you a new shape and a larger firebox. You'll feel a different engine. And you won't need special coal anymore. Won't that be nice? Yes, sir, said Henry.